channel, your social science teacher. I hope you all are doing very good. Today we will mat answers of block 23 finding directions which we have completed. So be ready with all your essentials and match your answers. Let's match PQ1. True or false? Question A is directions help us to reach a place easily. True. Next. Left and right is a better way of telling directions than north and south? No, false. And why? Because left and right directions can change with the position of the thing or a person. But north and south direction do not change. They are fixed. Next is the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. It's true. Next is, if you are facing the south, then north is to your left. No. Then north will be behind us. Next is, if you are facing the south, then east is to your left. Yes. Let's see how. This is north, south, east, right side, east and west, left side. So, if you are facing the south, Means we are standing by facing here. So east will be in our left side. Okay. <coughs> Let's understand again. This is north, south, east and west. So if our face is here. So this is our left hand and this is this will be our right hand so east will be our, in our left next is pq2 why do we need directions so we need directions to know the location of a place or a thing to reach a place easily that's why we need directions to know where ne where we need to move where we need to go or not PQ3 is what are the cardinal directions? So, north, east, west and south are the cardinal directions. They are fixed and do not change with the changing position of a thing or a person. PQ4 is why do we need to know the cardinal directions? How can it help us? We need to know the cardinal direction because... To reach a place easily because these cardinal directions are fixed and they do not change even though we change our positions. So with the help of cardinal direction we can we can be able to tell about or locate or to go a place correctly. To avoid confusion we need to know the cardinal directions because left and right may create confusion for us. But, but cardinal directions cannot. Next is PQ5. How does the position of the sun help us to find directions? So, with the help of the sun we can know the direction because when we face the rising sun means we are facing east because sun rises in the east so when we stand facing the rising sun we can see that in our face side or front side is east direction so opposite means behind will be west direction and when we face the rising sun so our left is north direction and right will be south direction and when we face evening sun or setting sun the opposite will happen because when we face setting sun so we are facing west because sun sets in the west so behind us will be east direction and right will be north direction and left will be south direction okay left hand will be south right hand will be north direction when we face evening sun or setting sun. 
PQ6 is how does a compass help us in finding directions? So if we have magnetic compass with us, magnetic compass is an instrument to know the directions in any time of the day. We don't need uh, we don't need sun or stars when we have magnetic compass with us. So how can how we can know the directions when we hold the magnetic compass without moving it you need to hold it in the correct position and when we hold it in the correct position and we are not moving it too much so the needle always points towards the north and once we know the north we can know that opposite of north will be south and right will be east and left is west Understand? Next is, why should we use cardinal directions and not left and right to help someone reach a place? Because left and right direction, we use cardinal directions and not left and right to help someone because left and right directions can change with the changing position of a person. But north, south, east and west do not change and they remain fixed. Even though a person change its position. And we can use left and right only when everyone is facing in the same direction. But no, we cannot use left and right when, when other people are coming from different direction. So, it is more useful to use cardinal directions and not left and right to help someone reach a place. With the help of cardinal direction, we can locate or reach a place correctly. And one more thing, you need to do this project work, but don't need to use cardboard because you may not have. So, make a magnetic compass, draw a magnetic compass on your notebook. And color match the answers of worksheet. So question 1 is S1. Question 1. Look at the chart carefully and write the symbols according to the directions given. And remember this is east. Ri uh, read the directions carefully. Here this is south. This is north and east and west. So you need to write according to these directions. If we are standing on the square facing the diamond then which symbol is to our left which what's the answer triangle if we are standing on the square here and we are our face is towards the diamond so in our left will be triangle next is if we are standing on the rectangle facing the circle so symbol is to our right is this slanting line. Because we are standing on the rectangle and we are our face is here. So symbol in the right is this slanting line. Next is which symbol will we reach when we move towards the south from the circle. This is circle. And we need to, this is circle, we need to move towards the south. So, this is south direction. So, a symbol will be rectangle. Next is, in which direction will we go to reach the star from the arrow? From the arrow, we need to go to the star. So, we will go to the east direction. Question number two. If you are standing on the square and your friend is standing on the diamond, you need to imagine yourself standing here. And you you and your friend, is one is standing in the diamond and second is standing on the square. And you both are facing each other. One is standing here, one is standing here. This is right hand, left hand. And this is left hand, this is right hand. Okay? And uh, so, direction of heart 
from diamond direction of heart from diamond this is right side and south direction so answer is right and south and direction of triangle box from square direction of triangle from square and your and your friend's face is this this is left hand and this is right hand so answer is left and south direction next is question number 3 how are left right directions different from north south direction so left and right direction change uh, with the changing position of a person or thing but north and south direction these are cardinal directions and they are fixed do not change with the changing position of a person or thing and uh, north and south direction help us to locate a place correctly unlike left and right directions and we can use left and right direction only when everyone is facing on the same direction uh, but we can use north and south direction even when everyone is not facing in the same direction and everyone is coming to the different direction pq uh, s2 question 1 fill in the blanks the sun rises in the east and sets in the west next is the direction exactly opposite to the rising sun is the west because sun rises in the east so opposite of east is west next is look at the picture neha is going to school in the morning find out the directions based on the position of neha and label them on the arrows so neha is facing the rising sun so this will be east here it is east written and back side will be west and left hand this is neha's left hand hand is not showing but you need to imagine keep yourself in the place of neha so left hand will be north direction and right hand side side will be south direction next is question number 3 neha is coming back from school in the evening find out the directions based on the position of neha so neha is coming back from the school so ne uh, setting sun is here so this sun sets in the west so this is west and right hand side uh, means back side sorry face side will be west direction behind neha will be east direction behind okay behind will be east direction and right hand side will be north direction left hand side will be south direction keep your uh, you can stand like this and uh, then observe where is north in which uh, hand side will be north and south then you will be able to understand this easily next is neha is going to school in the morning the sun is shining behind her find the directions for neha so if the sun shining behind her means this is rising sun so back side behind her will be east direction because sun rises in the east so face side or front side will be west direction and right hand side will be north direction and left hand side will be south direction okay this is back side east face side west and right hand side north left hand side south direction next s3 in which direction does the compass needle point which is its opposite direction left and right a compass needle points towards the north direction always 
and its opposite direction is south left is west and right is east direction always and these are the answers of question 2 look at the pictures the dark part of the narrow is pointing to the north mark the other directions on the diagrams so uh, here it is north so opposite of north is south and right will be east and left will be west next similarly this is north opposite of north is south right hand side will be east left is west and here this is north opposite will be south right will be east and left will be west in this way we can know the directions with the help of magnetic compass question number 3 how is a compass useful a compass is useful uh, when we are climbing on a mountain do and uh, why when sailors sail across the sail to across the sea and when stars and the sun are not present because of cloudy weather then we can uh, a com magnetic compass is useful for us for mountaineers for sailors and explorers and uh, when we are in a dark forest and uh, we cannot see the sun or stars and uh, when during a cloudy weather a compass is useful for us s4 locate and label the places in the boxes using the clues question 1 if we move east from our home we will reach the park so from home we need to move east here it is east you can match the directions from here so here will be park east is park if we move south from our home we will reach the school so this is south so school will be here when we move from our home to the south next is if we turn south from the park we will reach the lake we need to turn south from the park this is south and from the park we will turn south so here will be lake next is if we turn west from our home this is west we need to turn from our home to the west and move to the north this is north so we will reach hospital so here should be hospital question number 2 look at the map it shows the places close to sindhu's house and the four cardinal directions read the statements and tick the correct options so the swimming pool lies to the south of the park or hospital swimming pool lies to the south of the park this is park and this is south direction so swimming pool is in the south direction next is the ice cream shop lies to the west or east of sindhu's house so ice cream shop will be in the west of sindhu's house this is west direction next is the railway station or hospital is in the east of the school so this is a school and in east is railway station next is sindhu's has to walk to the north or south to reach the his school what's your answer to reach the school sindhu has to walk uh, north north direction from his house okay this is north direction so these are the answers of block 23 of workbook and notebook uh, sorry content book and you need to draw a magnetic compass and you can color it also if you have any doubt you can ask and be ready for your today's test in the evening
and uh, read the block carefully if you have any doubt you can ask and everyone please attempt the test it will help you take care everyone god bless